the Lord is your light. Brothers and sisters, God is your true source. He is the light that you need. Some of you are in darkness. What am I trying to say? Is that some of you do not know what is happening in your life. You do not know where your enemies are striking. You do not know who your enemies are. You do not know who it is who is fighting against you. You do not know what has been stolen from you. But for you to know that, for you to have knowledge about your enemies, for you to have knowledge about what you have lost, you need light. We need light. That's why Jesus said that you are the light of the world. There is a reason as to why Jesus referred to you as the light of the world. Because when you see light, light shines out in the darkest places. You can see light from a far distant place. Light will reveal. Light will reveal that thing that has been hidden. When you project light in a room, light reveals things that are falling down. So light is very important. This world is a dark place. And for you to navigate through this world, for you to be able to move freely without stumbling, without falling down, you need light. Because on your way, there are traps that your enemies have set. And you need that light. That's why you see the scripture says that the entrance of thy word giveth light. It giveth understanding. So the more you read the word of God, the more the word enters in you, it will give you light. The word of God is likened unto light. So you need the word of God. You need it. Because there are things that are deceptive in this world. There are messages that are deceptive in this world. That seem as though it is truth and yet it is a lie. You need light to reveal it. You need light to know what kind of information you are supposed to watch. Because not everything that is thrown out to you, you it is for you. Not everything that is uh, said, you are supposed to hear it. You need light. Jesus is the light. And when the light comes into you, you become the light. Glory to God. Today's word is from the book of Psalm chapter 27, verse 1 to 3. Psalm chapter 27, verse 1 to 3. And it reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength and my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise up against me, in this I will be confident. Scripture says that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? If you have God as your light and your salvation, there is no one to be afraid of. Because you know it. You can see it. You can see your enemies. Because a lot of people fear what they do not know. The reason as to why they fear that thing is because they do not know. Because if God can really show you that thing that you are afraid of, you will see that it is very small. If light can be projected to that thing that frightens you, you will not be afraid of it. You will not be afraid of the dark. Glory to God. Scripture says, the Lord is, my, is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When God is just the strength of your life, there is nothing. Now, Scripture says, when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. The psalmist was in this position where the wicked had come up against him to eat up his flesh. But what happened? Their end result was they stumbled and fell. Some of you are people. They have literally come up to eat your flesh. You may not know it, but in the spiritual realm, they want to eat your flesh. They want to destroy you. They want to destroy your life. But they stumbled and fell. Some of you do not know that even right now as I speak, your enemies are falling. They are stumbling. You may not see it. Sometimes even at night when you are asleep, your enemies come in. They plot their traps. 
But as they are living, they stumble and fall. They have bruises. They have wounds. Brothers and sisters, I have come to encourage you that God is your light. If you remain in God, he will be with you. He is your shield. He is your salvation. There is nowhere else you will get salvation. It is only through God. It is only through the Christ Jesus. It is only through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now the scripture says, Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The psalmist was so confident that even an army, I don't know how, whether many, some of you have, have seen an army, an army encamping over him. But he says, he shall not fear because he knows that God is greater than those who are coming up against him. That God is bigger than the army. Brothers and sisters, the scripture says that though war may rise up against me, in this I will be confident. Some of you have not heard what I've just said. The scripture says that though war may rise up against me, in this I will be confident. He will be confident when war arises up against him. Not when war is not rising up against him. But he says, though war may rise up against this, in this I will be confident. He will be confident. He will not try to say, oh no, I've been attacked. Oh no, let me look for you. He will be confident because he knows that he, he has God on his side. And if God can, if, if God is for you, who is against you? Who is man that you should fear? Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this message. But I want to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, have confidence in God. That that thing that has tried to condemn you, that thing that has risen up against your family, will be put to an end. Well, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, and you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account. My PayPal is in the link in the description. And also you can find my PayPal in my About section. And God will bless you. Brothers and sisters, for those that need prayer, for those that need uh, to speak to me, you can do so uh, through my email address. You can send me a message through my email address. Or you can send me a message through my Facebook page. And I'll respond to you. Now, until next time, God bless you.